This video is sponsored by AppMaker. AppMaker is a WordPress plugin that converts WooCommerce websites to mobile apps. The mobile app builder helps you create native Android and iOS applications. Get 30% off by being first 200 sign up. Get the link in the description. Hey everyone, welcome back to another video of Educate WordPress. On this channel, we talk everything about WordPress. And today, we're going to see how we can make our website multilingual. Let's get started. Multilingual website will give a user an option to view a website in their native language or their preferred language. This way, your site is more appealing to them. So let's see how we can add more languages to our website. Just go to your dashboard, go to plugins, add new, search for G translate. This is the plugin. Click on install now. If you don't find this, just go to the website linked in the description. Click on download and click on upload plugin here. Choose the download zip file and then click on install. For now, let's activate this plugin. Now we should see the plugin here. Just click on settings or just go to settings from here and choose GT translate or G translate. Now here are the languages that you can choose. There are so many languages that have been added. Just add the language of your choice or according to the people that visit your website on a daily basis based on their country basically if you want to if you want to show this in menu let's click on show in menu and change it to primary menu let's click on save changes let's view our website and as you can see we have added languages now this is flags of the countries now, as you can see our website has been translated you can just choose the flag of the country from the drop down menu. Now let's see some more settings. Here we have widget look. We can change from just showing up flags to flags and drop down or just drop down flags, flags with language codes, language names, globe, etc. Let's choose drop down. And let's enable auto switch to browser language. Now, if your visitor is searching from a website that is, for example, French, he's from France and he's using a browser that has default language set as French. So he will be able to look your website in French without the use, without using the drop down. Let's click on save changes. And here is the drop down. As you can see, our website has been translated.
you can also choose show native languages names basically what it means is that all these languages will appear in the language now what I mean by that is let's try enabling this let's click on save changes and as you can see Mandarin Chinese simplified is in Chinese English France this is Italian this is Spanish as Espanol now in this way you can add so many languages to your website and make your website more appealing to users that prefer their native language. Now that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Like if you find this video useful and subscribe. Thank you.